Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Narayanam Namaskrityam Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narottamam Naram Chaiva Narottamam Daivim Sarasatim Vyasam Daivim Sarasatim Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudiraya Tato Jaya Mudiraya Nasta Praeshu Vabhadreshu Nasta Praeshu Vabhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttam Mashloke, Bhagavati Uttamashloke, Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki, Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki. Reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 1, Text Number 6. Prabhupada Srimad Bhagavatam, Prathama Skanda, Prathama Dhyanga, Sukh Number 6, Gubarima Tarsa Omega. I give the book, you can look at the book. Okay. I've got the icon. Sutta Ovacha, Sutta Ovacha, oh. Rishaya Uchu, Rishaya Uchu, Twaya, Twaya, Kalu, Kalu, Puranani, Puranani, Setihasani, Setihasani, Chanaga, Chanaga, Atyatani, Atyatani, Api Aditani, Api Aditani, Dharma, Dharma, Shastrani, Shastrani, Yani Yuta, Yani Yuta, Rishaya Uchu, Rishaya Uchu. Tvaya kalu puranani, Tvaya kalu puranani, Seti hasani atmaga, Seti hasani chanaga, Seti hasani chanaga, Seti hasani chanaga, Adhyadhani apyadhitani, Adhyadhani apyadhitani, Dharma Shastrani Yaniyuta, Dharma Shastrani Yaniyuta, Rishaya Uchu, Rishaya Uchu, Tvaya Kalu Puranani, Tvaya Kalu Puranani, Seti Hasani Chanaga, Seti Hasani Chanaga, Apyadhani Apyadhani, Yata Ditani Akadana Kuritani Dharma Shastrani Yani Uta Dharma Shastrani Yani Uta Rishaya Uju Rishaya Uju Toya Kalu Puranani Toya Kalu Puranani Siti Hasani Chanaga Siti Hasani Chanaga Akhyatyanya Pyaditani Akhyatyanya Pyaditani Dharma Shastrani Chanita Dharma Shastrani Chanita Rishi Uju Rishaya Uju Toya Kalu Puranani, Toya Kalu Puranani, Seti Hasani Chau Chanaga, Seti Hasani Chanaga, Akya Tanya Piyadhitani, Akya Tanya Piyadhitani, Dharma Sasrani Yanyuta, Dharma Sasrani Yanyuta. Vishaya Uchu, Vishaya Uchu, Dvaya Kalu Puranani, Dvaya Kalu Puranani, Seti Hasani Chanaga, Seti Hasani Chanaga, Akyatani Api Akyatani, Akyatani Api Akyatani, Dharma Sastani Chani Ucha, Dharma Sastani Chani Ucha, Rasya Uchu, Rishaya Uchu, Toya Kalu Puranani, Toya Kalu Puranani, Seti Hasani Chanaga, Seti Hasani Chanaga, Akhyatani Api Akhyatani, Akhyatani Akhyatani, Dharma Sastani Chanaga, Dharma Sastani Chanaga. 
Rishaya, Rishaya, the sages, the sages, is your name. Oh, you can do it. Pujuhu, Pujuhu, Kaha, Swaya, Swaya, Aapke Dwara, Khalu, Khalu, Nishayahi, Nishayahi, Puranani, Puranani, Paripurak Vedon Ko, Paripurak Vedon Ko, Jin Me Rochak Kathai Hai, Jin Me Rochak Kathai Hai, Sa Itihasani, Sa Itihasani, Itihasau Samit, Itihasau Samit, Cha, 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 अनगा अनगा समस्त पापों से मुक्त समस्त पापों से मुक्त आख्यातानी आख्यातानी कहा गया कहा गया अपि अपि यद्यपि ऐसा अधितानी अधितानी सुपठित सुपठित धर्मशास्त्रानी धर्मशास्त्रानी प्रगतिशील प्रगतिशील जीवन के लिए जीवन के लिए सही निर्देशन देने वाले सही निर्देशन देने वाले शास्त्र शास्त्र ग्रंथ यानी ये सब उता व्याख्या की गई है अनुवाद तथा तात्पर्य श्री श्रीमती वेदांत स्वामी प्रभुपा जी की मुनियों ने कहा हे पूज्य सूत गोस्वामी आप समस्त प्रकार के पापों से पूर्ण रूप से मुक्त हैं आप धार्मिक जीवन के लिए विख्यात समस्त शास्त्रों एवं पुराणों के साथ साथ इतिहासों में निपुण है क्योंकि आपने समुचित निर्देशन में उन्हें पढ़ा है और उनकी व्याख्या भी की है तात्पर्य गोस्वामी या श्री व्यासदेव के प्रमाणिक प्रतिनिधि को समस्त पापों से मुक्त होना चाहिए कलियुग के चार प्रमुख पाप हैं एक स्त्रियों के साथ अवैध संबंध दूसरा पशुवा तीसरा मादक द्रव्य सेवन तथा चौथा सभी प्रकार की दूध पीड़ा किसी गोस्वामी को व्यास व्यासासन पर बैठने का तभी साहस करना चाहिए वो जब वो इन सभी पापों से मुक्त हो जो उपयुक्त पापों से रहित न हो और जो आचरण से निष्कलंक न हो उसे व्यवसान पर व्यासासन पर बैठना नहीं चाहिए उसने न केवल इन सभी पापों से मुक्त होना चाहिए अपितु समस्त शास्त्रों में या वेदों में पारंगत होना चाहिए पुराण भी वेदों के ही अंग हैं एवं महाभारत या रामायण जैसे इतिहास भी वेदों के ही अंग हैं आचार्य अथवा गोस्वामी को इन ग्रंथों से पूर्ण रूप से अवगत होना चाहिए उनके पढ़ने की अपेक्षा उनका श्रवण तथा उनकी व्याख्या कीर्तन अधिक महत्वपूर्ण है केवल श्रवण तथा व्याख्या द्वारा शास्त्रों के ज्ञान को आत्मसात किया जा सकता है श्रवण का अर्थ है सुनना तथा कीर्तन का अर्थ है समझना या कहना श्रवण तथा कीर्तन ये दोनों विधियाँ प्रगतिशील आध्यात्मिक जीवन के लिए अति आवश्यक हैं जिन लोगों ने उपयुक्त स्रोत से विनय पूर्वक श्रवण करके दिव्य ज्ञान को भलीभांति समझ लिया है वही इस विषय की समुचित व्याख्या कर सकते हैं
जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो सेजीज हेडेड बाय सोनाका ऋषि आर एड्रेसिंग सुत गोस्वामी रस सोनका ऋषि या दो ऋषि और ते नमी सारणे में राजस को लीडर उन्होंने तो सोनगी और वाले सुधा को स्वामी लाए इस तरह प्रकार से संबोधन कर देंगे उनसे एट इट सेड एटी एट थाउजेंड सेजीज ऑल केम टू नाइमेशरान्या प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द काली युगा और बताया गया था जो कि अठासी हजार एटी एट थाउजेंड ऋषि और नमी सारानिया बनने जगह में इकत्रित भाई � so they went there to perform sacrifice for the benefit of the people. Naimisharanya is a holy place, just like Kurukshetra. Naimisharanya is also Dharmakshetra. It's also a very important place. नमी सारण जो बहुत पुण्य तीर्थस्थल हो जस्ता पर कली पुरुष क्षेत्र तीर्थस्थल तो तेस्ते नमी सारण बनी बहुत ही तीर्थस्थल है। So the sages had all come there and as well as performing the sacrifice and chanting mantras and prayers, they were also doing the sacrifice of hearing. They wanted to hear. They want. They had questions and they wanted to hear from an enlightened speaker. राउंडर तो सरी यज्ञ करते थे करता करते ही बीच में उन दिला सुनने पे इच्छा भाई रहते हो और अति दिख रहा आध्यात्मिक विषय में जीवन से करने उनको इच्छा प्रकट हुई साथ जो सो दे सेलेक्टेड सुता गोस्वामी टू स्पीक फॉर देम राते दिख रहा उन दिले सुता गोस्वामी लाए चुने सुनने को लाए जहाँ वहाँ of course, initially the speaker was Ramaharsha Sutta, who was the father of Sutta Goswami. But Ramaharsha Sutta was killed by Lord Balaram. Lord Balaram had understood that this Ramaharsha was not actually qualified to speak. And so Lord Balaram had removed him, but in the place of Ramaharsha and Sutta, this, the son, Sutta Goswami came. The sages had given a blessing to Ramaharsha and Sutta that he would have a long life that he would be able to speak for a long time to them. And Lord Balaram had come and he killed Ramaharshan. But when the sages complained, then Lord Balaram said, well, I can bring him back to life. But the sages said, no. You are the supreme Lord. You decided to kill him, so let it remain. Rajab or the Sri Balaram Ji, Roma Shala Maru Maru. Did he get a receiver? Le Bani Amir Tela Lamu Jivan Kula Ya Ashura De Karun Dar Tamar Maru Nu Baba Kaso Karun Jo. Under Balaram Ji Jo Hai Na Ila Ta Jiv Jiv Bani Na Jiv Bani Na Sabshu. Tar Apni Receiver Ki Bata Na Hai Na Tapai Ta Bhagwan Nu Jo Ra Tapai Ko Ichha Jaise Tei Karun Jo. Ami Tei Palan Karun Tei Arshu Mane Mane. So then the sage said, then but but what about the benediction we gave him? Please do something about that. So, so then, so, so, so then, uh, Lord Balaram said, "All right, we can give that benediction to his son." Because there's no difference between the father and the son. The son is representing the. Just like sometimes the father is cursed and he wants to give the curse, he may ask to give the curse to his son. 
रहा कोई कोई लाइक पिता लाइक श्राप मिले जाओ नहीं तो श्राप ले आगमन पुत्र लाइक सार न सब चाह रहे जिस लाइक महाराज ये याद थी तो ऐसा बगाले महाराज ये आदि लागत में आम से कथा ही वाज कर्श टू बिकम ओल्ड रहा महाराज ये आदि लाइक श्राप मिले तो कि चिड़े पुलो होने रहा उन्हें चिड़े पुलो बगा दे तो महाराज ये याद थी कंप्लेन टू द उनले कम्प्लेन कर जसरे श्राप देखो रहा मतलब तुम छोरी सब बिहार कर छिटे बुढ़ो भाई के होता तुम्हें छोरी को अलग ध्यान रख दिन छोरी तिमी छोरी खुशी होते बुढ़ो मैं सब बिहार So then he said, "Okay, then if you want, you can give the if one of your sons will agree to accept the curse. You can give the curse to him." Rahul le mane mere sirap to atal se tarab ni change karna hunsa. Yadi koi thi mera chhora le manchan mane uta saar da hunsa. So fortunately, uh, Yayati had he had a few sons, and the the first few the oldest sons is. Said no, they said we don't want that curse because we have we're planning to renounce ourselves in time, so we don't want to accept that curse now. We're not ready for that. अरे यार ती माता का मारा का चुपड़े चुपड़ा है उसे कती में सब बात ठुला चुपड़ा सांग है तो ठुला चुपड़ा सांग कर बात इस चीज़ तो बंदा नूलें तो नहीं ना ये तो आमल मत जाने की ना करी छिटे ने मार संसार बाटे निगलती बाय He agreed to accept the curse. Rasa mana kancil suruh tu, umur lagi tayar bay, pita sama, aku ayu sahaja berlari. So the father was very grateful to that son. Rasa pita ni khusi bay tu kancil suruh sama. And when the father retired, when he actually gave up the throne, he put the youngest son on the throne. He didn't put the oldest son. He put the youngest. Said. Rasa jawa bau ye ti mara raja suruh jangan kiri umur lagi kancil suruh lagi singa sama bersama. Saderu tu flu suruh lagi bersama kerjau. So here, anyway, Sutta Goswami is uh, chosen to be the speaker, and now the sages are describing the qualification of Sutta Goswami. Rayanani Sutta Goswami lai chhu dilay roj ra katha sunna ko lagi basai. Rasono ji vanu cha yanadi jo katha vachak ka lakshan hai rohta hoon. Matlab usko yogya ta kiyon ka chhu. It's not that just that he's because he's the son, so because his father was. You know, great because his father was a disciple of Vyasa Dev, and his father was qualified, so the son must be qualified. There, that's not only the basis. It's not just by birth. Rajanari, who Pratiya Bataya was saying, Sudha Goswami's father, Jiro Marsha, Puni Kumar, the story of the Tenth Agari, Baba Puni, the story of the Tenth Agari, Amal Levelu, Usla, Shora Lapni, Basara, Suno Uzvada, Varna, Tio Yogya Talai, Na, Mangal Janma Ko Yogya Talai, Na, Unma Ko Vishesh Yogya Talai, Tio 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 Ko Baare Mein Varna Nikal Dey, Mangal. Just like. Your father may be a high court judge. It doesn't mean the son is also a high court judge. Raja sabr ka le pita ji judge na sawane. Choro pani judge nahi sawane aavashyakta hai na. Agar upade na to kahan judge hoga ra? Your father is a doctor. Doesn't mean the son is also a doctor. Raba u doctor sawane ma choro pani doctor hi hunja hone koi guarantee hai na. They have to study. They have to qualify. Raha tu doctor hunna bolai undiru. Pardon karo. Aapi le yuge ta siddha karun karo. And the same way that the father may be a murderer, he may be a big thief, a big crook. Doesn't mean all his sons are also bad. So this type of kind of thing, if you are poor, rich, or you are the kind of man who is poor, then you are not going to be able to do anything. You are not going to be able to do anything. So Sutta Goswami, has, he is, his qualifications are being described that he, uh, that that he, first of all, is free of sin. He doesn't do any bad, any. He has no vices. He has no bad habits. रा कोई लक्षण या उनको सुधा को सामने को जो लक्षण बता दो कथा वाचा को कोई लोग क्यों तो ना करी जस्ट ना पुण्य प्रकार को पाप होने वाले हैं पाप बाटा मुक्त हो कोई लक्षण नहीं चल That's very important. रा ये सब बंदा मुख्य अंग हो Right. The uh, Krishna consciousness movement proper often described that this society is meant to be a movement of pure devotees. रघुपाल जी घर घर ही भरी रहने दो कि आंगन को जो अभियान चल कृष्ण भावना मृत सं इसको उद्देश्य हो कि सब शुद्ध भक्त बनाने उद्देश्य हो सब शुद्ध भक्त होने ही पड़ता है। People take initiation in Krishna consciousness. It's meant that they're well, supposed to have no bad habits. रघुपाल भावना मृत सं मायर दिखाने नहीं पड़ता होगी कुने पिनी प्रकार को नरावर आदि दुर्वाटा मुक्त होने पड़ We were hearing how there was this one the man who was initiated in Krishna consciousness, 
and how he was serving at our temple here and then he was having bad habits mm -hmm. and going so he went to some other temple mm -hmm. and he's still doing the bad habits mm -hmm. and people still think he's a Hare Krishna. So it used to be Westerners who <laughs> would do these things, but sometimes we see even sometimes Hindus also can do this. So people would sometimes criticize Prabhupada, they would complain that why you give these people Brahmin thread? Why you make them Brahmin? Why you make them sannyasis? But according to Shastra, anybody can, if, if they're properly trained, then they can also become Brahmin. The Shastra say, just like bell metal can be made into gold by an alchemical process. So so anyone who is properly trained and initiated by the bona fide teacher, they can also become Brahman. It's not that yo, you have to be born in a Brahmana family to be in Brahman. Of course, birth in a Brahmana family can be an advantage. It can be a lot easier for such people to become Brahmins. You're born in an environment, maybe from the beginning of birth, beginning of life, you you see the deities and you hear the scriptures being recited and you're taught to do uh, you're taught to behave properly to do everything properly just like a brahman family They'll train the children, don't use the left hand to eat food. <laughs> of course, uh, you go to in England or Russia, you know, people, they don't know, they, they will use two hands. <laughs> but Hindu family, Devotee family, from birth, the children are trained, don't use the left hand. One hand is for, the right hand is for eating, left hand is for cleaning the body. Prabhupada often told, if you use two hands, means the oh look he's a meat eater. <laughs> because meat eaters they use two hands. <laughs> but devotee if you go to Mayapur you see in Mayapur and the Gada Bhavan, the big pepper, you see the Bengali people sitting and everybody is just like this, yeah. you know. They never use like so this is culture and people should be trained in the beginning of life these things. Just like we have to be trained to wash your hands after going to toilet. Just like we have to be trained to wash your hands after going to toilet. 
And similarly, before and after eating also, we should wash our hands, wash our mouth, even wash our feet. This culture is being forgotten. People lost all these things. So Sutta Goswami is being that he is free of all vices, he has no bad habits. Sutta Goswami it doesn't eat meat or fish or eggs. It doesn't take even the onion and the garlic. Right. And of course, no, no uh, intoxication. No coffee, no Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola, coffee, and, and these things. And I think he doesn't want 7-Eleven also. <laughs> yeah, no garbage food. Treasury packing for you, but you can't eat it. Go to 7-Eleven, just junk food. Garbage. Mm. All chemicals. And that's why you have to eat all chemicals. And that's why you have to eat all chemicals. Nothing good for you there. So Sutta Goswami he free of all vices. And most then also uh, he he has studied the scriptures. He studied the scriptures like the, the Puranas. Puran, the most important of the Puranas is Srimad Bhagavatam. Of course, there's 18 Puranas. Six for each of the three modes. But the Srimad Bhagavatam, that is the cream of all the Puranas. Written by Srila Vyasadeva in his mature, with his mature realization after taking instruction from his guru, Radha Muni, then he wrote Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, the Srimad Bhagavatam is the fruit. The Vedas are like a tree and the Srimad Bhagavatam is like the fruit of the tree. Uh, and so just like you have mango tree, if there's a fruit there which has been eaten by the parrots, you know that was must have been very ripe. Mm. The parrots know which is the sweet fruit. Mm. So when they have been packing that fruit, you know, oh, that must have been very good fruit. And so the Srimad Bhagavatam, because it's spoken by Sukha Goswami, Sukha, Sukha means parrot. So because it comes from the mouth of Shukha, Dev, so it's very sweet. But here we're hearing about Sutta Goswami. Sutta Goswami, he heard the Bhagavatam from Shukadev Goswami. Sutta Goswami so Kadev Goswami, he is the son of Vyasadev. 
Rasukadeva Swami, Vyasadeva ka putra manja. And Sutta Goswami, he is the son of Ramaharshan Sutta, and Ramaharshan Sutta was a disciple of Vyasadeva. Rasukadeva Goswami ji, Ramaharshan Sutta ka putra manja, and Ramaharshan ji, Vyasadeva ka sishya di. So, Sutta Goswami has heard these scriptures from, he must have heard from his father, and his father, of course, he, he, he could have heard from, he could have, he, he, he was also there when Sukadeva Goswami spoke. So hearing the scriptures, hearing this very important qualification for the, the speaker. <coughs> before we can speak, before we can explain anything, we have to first hear the topic. You have to study the subject first yourself. And then you can try to explain it and teach it to others. So Sutta Goswami, he had done this, he studied all these scriptures. So, so Prabhupada said, nobody can sit on the vyasa until they, they have this qualification, that they have no sin and they've studied the scriptures. So there was one man coming to the temple in Prabhupada's time and he was he wanted to teach the devotee Sanskrit. And he wanted to sit on Prabhupada's Vyasa son. But Prabhupada said, no, no, I cannot sit there. He's not qualified. He's just an academic person. He studied Sanskrit, but he's not studied the path of devotion. And we don't know about his habits. We don't know if he is free of sin or not. So the seat of Vyasadev is reserved for the people who represent Srila Vyasadev. And the representatives of, of Vyasadev, they study the books of Vyasadev. Srila Vyasadeva not only compiled the 18 Puranas and the Srimad Bhagavatam, he also compiled the Mahabharat. And in the Mahabharat, of course, the, Shrila, the Srimad Bhagavad Gita is there. It's so very important to know these books. And Prabhupada also mentions here, he said they also talks about the Ramayana as well. Also, this is also part of the Vedas. Actually, there's four Vedas, but Mahabharat is the fifth Veda. But Mahabharat is not Shruti. Mahabharat is Smriti. There's two two divisions of scripture. One is called Shruti, the four Vedas, the original Veda, and the Smriti is the supplements of the Vedas. So, devote, to do devotional service, we have to be familiar with these, all these scriptures. 
It is said, Shruti Smriti Puranadi Pancharatriki Vidim Binam Aikantir Upatir Pakir Upadayaiva Kaupati. Upadayaiva Kaupati. If we try to do devotional service which is not according to the Shruti and the Smriti and the Puranas and the Pancharatriki, then it's simply a disturbance to society. So this is why we have to, every day we try to study the scriptures, we have classes in the temple. So we want everyone to understand what we're doing, why we're doing these things. Sometimes you ask people, oh, why do you do this? Why do you ring this bell? Why do you break this coconut? Oh, I don't know, everybody does it, you know. <laughs> Why you chant Hare Krishna? Why you hold this be Oh, everybody does it, you know. My mother told me to do it. I have to do it. Why we put why you shave your head? Why you put that tea like on? Oh my father told me I have to do it. No, we should know why we do these things. We should be able to explain to people. We don't want to just be a blind follower. So often we get people, they come to Krishna consciousness and they just do everything blindly. They don't understand why they're doing it. And then after some time, then they just stop, they go away. Then you get people who come and they, you know they follow the devotional things, but at the same time they still keep their old bad habits. So taking up Krishna consciousness, Prabhupada described, he said this, declaring war on Maya. We have to fight against the material energy. We shouldn't be a come. We don't want to be a victim of Maya. We want to fight the Maya and be victorious over it, defeat it. So armed with knowledge, stand and fight. Krishna tells Arjuna. So if we don't have any knowledge, then it won't be any. We'll be in trouble. And part of knowledge is also culture, that we should know what is the culture and how to practice the culture. Lord Chaitanya gave great importance to that. He would test devotees to see how strict they would be in following the culture. So, this way the sages are going, they're describing the different qualifications of Sutta Goswami. And Prabhupada explains that hearing and chanting, this is the very most important part of our devotion, is the foundation of our devotion. Right, we want to go and do it, if we want to seriously practice Krishna consciousness. We have to hear regularly and we have to 
गंभीर होना चाहिए हमें नियमित रूप से सुनने को लगी आवश्यक And we have to hear from the right source also. If we hear from the wrong person, then we won't be able to explain very nicely. Mm-hmm. That we give the example last night. The holy name. You might hear the holy name, but if you hear it from a non-devotee. Then it's like milk touched by the lips of a serpent. It will just have a poisonous effect. It will not have a good effect. So we want to hear. We have to be faithful, chaste. I mean. We have to hear from the parampara, particularly we have to hear from Srila Prabhupada, the founder Acharya. People, sometimes people, they like to read many books and they read many books by other people. But we should first read Prabhupada's books. All of them, all of Prabhupada's books. Right? Particularly, of course, the whole Srimad Bhagavatam, the Chaitanya Charitamrita, and Bhagavad Gita, Nectar of Devotion. These are the main books of our Krishna consciousness movement. <coughs> if we read the books, it's, it's as good as hearing from Prabhupada. We also have many, many, many of Prabhupada's lectures. Prabhupada also lectured in Hindi as well. You can hear Prabhupada's lectures. So it's important for us to regularly hear. And then when we hear nicely, then we can explain. Right? Sometimes we ask people, you know, did you hear, what did you hear? Oh, um, I forget, I don't remember anything. Mm-hmm. It goes in the one ear, but it goes out the other ear. <laughs> so we have to hear carefully. Right? The hear means to go in the heart. Right? <laughs> Shrinvatam Svakata Krishna Punya Shravana Kirtana. Hearing about Krishna is a pious activity and it cleanses the heart of all material desires. It's a powerful medicine for curing our disease of material life. And so Srila Prabhupada gave great importance to morning program as well as evening program regularly hearing and chanting. Right? Okay, any question? Well, there's no difference, really, because if you associate with real devotees, then they will chant. They will do all. They will be chanting, discussing topics of Krishna. In the association of devotees, there will be discussion of Krishna, there will be chanting, there will be these activities. This is how devotees associate together. 
भक्त को संग करने को अर्थ नहीं हो कि भक्त केवल कीर्तन कर सत्संग होने बितिक कीर्तन यदि हो भगवान को सत्संग हो सही संग हो The devotees come together not just for prasadam. Mm-hmm. The devotees come together to get prasad. No, but they come together to discuss with each other the topics of Krishna consciousness. They come together to discuss with each other the topics of Krishna consciousness. They come together to discuss with each other the topics of Krishna consciousness. They come together to discuss with each other the topics of Krishna consciousness. They come together to discuss with each other the topics of Krishna consciousness. They come together to discuss with each other the topics of Krishna consciousness. They come together to discuss <laughs> meaning meaning you're a parrot <laughs> you can recite you don't know the meaning Thai you can they didn't know Thai yeah, speak Thai. Thai they learned in Thai you remember no an important no. verse in the so Bible so now they have to memorize the meaning also mm. so one day they will realize <laughs> the thoughts of my pure devotees dwell in me they d- derive great pleasure in enlightening enlightening one another and conversing about me bhagwan manuncha ki mera bhakta ko hamesha chintan ya man hamesha mama huncha ra udur jab bhet hunchan aapas ma ek aapas ma mero bare ma charcha garchan ra tesle उधर के उनसे तो ना करी आनंदित उनसे ना रमा उनसे ना खुशी उनसे ना तेज़ करना पाएगा ना। So this is about abhidaya. Just there are three levels of knowledge: sambanda, abhidaya, and prayojana. So this is abhidaya, the second verse of the chatur sloki of the Bhagavad Gita. अरे सर ये भगवान को भक्ति में तीन स्तर सा संबंध अभिदिया प्रयोजन प्रयोज अभिदिया अरे वो दूसरो स्तर को। The process, how to practice devotional service. भगवान को भक्ति कसरी करने भाई कुछ इसमें बताया वेन दे वर बिफोर ड्यूरिंग हॉलिडेज इंद्र जब श्लोक तो याद हो तर अर्थ जी बुढ़े So you have to. If you don't use it regularly, you forget. Example is given. Just like if you have water in the clay pot, you know, in India, probably in Burma also in the past, they used to keep everything in the clay, porous pot, because it keeps it cool, right? Yeah. So if you have water in the clay pot. What happens is the water, the clay is porous, so the water is evaporating. There's always a little water around the pot because the water evaporates. So, one day it will dry up. There'll be no more water. So our knowledge is like that. We have knowledge. We don't use it. it dries up. यदि हम इसमें ज्ञान सत्र के लिए इस्तेमाल कर रहे हों ना जैसा प्रकार ले कच्ची अंडी में पानी आ रहा है तो फिरी पानी आप ही आप सुख भी जाने के हर आउंगे जब पानी सुख करा सुख खाने के तो सर ने ज्ञान आवेल जो था जो इस्लाम में इस्तेमाल कर रहे हो ना इसको ज्ञान बनी बाप उड़े सर हर आउंगे Not only knowledge, any skill you have, you know, maybe you know computer typing. If you didn't do it for a long time, you forget. You know, if you don't speak a language for a long time, you forget. जो सब प्रकार ले आमेर ये पनी जो था सामेर तो चीज रहा मेरे हमेशा अभ्यास कर रहे हों ने भूल जाने जो तो आमेर आप मत जान जो so this knowledge, this chanting, the hearing the scriptures, it's important to regularly hear and chant, discuss. As we have been going to do, niyami trupule samadhi gare chanu mantra bardi jaane ho. So every day we're reciting these different prayers. That is the reason why we are all different spiritual beings every day. Right. Sunday begins the chapter mass the the Kartik month. Yes, I do. Are we going to Kartik school today, sir? And at Ban Bankek, the devotees will recite Gopi Geet every day. The Bankek Mandir will be on the Gopi Geet again, sir. And Vrindavan also, in many temples, they will recite Gopi Geet from the Bhagavatam. 
very beautiful. You can also recite. You can download it from the internet. You get the book and you can learn from how they chant. It's very, very beautiful. Simple language, singing, the gopis feeling separation from Krishna. And of course we sing also Damadar. Remembering the Lord's pastime as Damodar. Okay. Any other any question? Okay. Srimad Bhagavatam ki. Srila Prabhupada ki.